Katy Perry recently flew to outer space, kind of. She was part of Blue Origin's all-female space flight, and that made a lot of people really upset. Was it because of the unmistakably feministic touch? Should you not talk about makeup when you fly to space? Or was the response sexist? I have some thoughts on what's going on here. Katy Perry and five other women, who will now forever be known as the women who flew with Katy Perry, traveled to space on April 14th on a reusable Blue Origin spacecraft that's launched from the ground and then basically falls back down. The capsule arced 105 kilometers, delivered three minutes of microgravity and landed back in West Texas without a scratch. Perry herself was evidently very worried about whether her hair would look good in zero gravity. Aisha Bo, who flew with Perry, prepared accordingly. I skydived in Dubai with similar hair to make sure I'd be good. She prepared so well indeed that conspiracy theories sprang up on X, saying that it's all fake because her hair didn't properly float. Katy Perry also took a daisy along because that's her daughter's name, and after landing she kissed the ground, saying she felt so connected to love. Love. I feel super connected to love. Sarah Manovitz, writing for The Guardian, called it a giant leap for self-publicity. Business Insider called it out of touch, and Joe Rogan had a good laugh about the daisy. It was very profound. I don't know if yeah. you've seen Katy Perry talk about it, but she's basically a guru now. Yeah. What were her findings? That's my question. Well, what she did brought she a learn? daisy, which right. is super important. <laughs> It shows you how quick the flight was. The dead yeah. daisy that's like snipped from its life source was still still alive or still it's vibrant. So in case you're wondering how much of the microgravity on that flight was due to the weakening of the gravitational field and how much due to the free fall of the parabolic flight, it's almost all from the parabolic flight, because 100 kilometers compared to the radius of Earth is still very small. But 100 kilometers is widely, if somewhat arbitrarily, used as the border to outer space. And Perry made clear that she now considers herself an astronaut. In her own words, we're going to put the ass in astronaut, which I guess is a good summary of the entire media fiasco. Much of the criticism focused around the costs. Blue Origin won't publish ticket prices, but the costs are at least a few hundred thousand euro per person. This money could arguably be used better, but then I didn't really need yet another coffee mug either, so who am I to judge? Then there is the issue of carbon emissions. While Blue Origin's rocket is powered by hydrogen and doesn't directly create carbon dioxide, the hydrogen must come from somewhere and at the moment, most hydrogen is produced from methane, aka natural gas. But most of the criticism, I think, was simply triggered by these women being themselves. I'm not a huge fan of Katy Perry, but, and this might be the most controversial thing I've ever said, I think Katy Perry songs are considerably better than Taylor Swift's. But whether you like her music or not, I think it's totally okay for her to express her love for the planet and take a daisy into space to think of her daughter on a trip that could have been her last, because it's the sort of thing that women do. Yeah, sure, she staged it for the camera, but so do I when I talk to you. This doesn't mean it's not genuine, it just means that more than the average thought went into it, or should have gone into it. But I think there's another reason for this fallout, which is bad timing. Especially in the US, consumer confidence just sank to a three-year low. Seeing rich folks show off their riches rubs people the wrong way. And no, I don't want to talk about my stocks. But rich people aren't going to go away, which means we'll see more of this, whether we like that or not. Business analysts expect the space tourism sector to dramatically grow within the next years, from currently about $1.5 billion to more than $8 billion by 2030. Besides Blue Origin, there's Virgin Galactic, which just started building new space planes, and they're aiming for 
two flights a week by mid-2026 at $600,000 a seat. SpaceX recently completed the first private spacewalk at God knows what cost, and the American company Space Perspective is offering balloon rides to an altitude of 30 kilometers for 125,000. Which leaves us with one last question. If we call every paying passenger an astronaut, do we celebrate the democratization of space or do we flatten what astronauts actually do? The years of training, the risk, the service? Let me know in the comments. Because definitions have a way of pulling us back to Earth. To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and how to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their data science courses, which they just released. They all use real-world examples like what it means to go viral on X. Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on algebra or large language models, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. Sounds good. I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina or scan the QR code. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.